Hi, it's Dean Rogers. I'm here in Tampa, Florida at a real estate investing mastermind. Besides the information you learn, it's the people you meet and the relationships you build. So I'm going to be interviewing real estate millionaires and finding out more about them. Let's go. So who are you and how'd you become a millionaire? My name is Chris Chico, and I became a millionaire through real estate by getting involved with wholesaling. I used to be an accountant, and I hated that job. And then eventually, after trying a whole bunch of things that didn't work out, like MLMs and all kinds of crazy stuff, mm -hmm. eventually I stumbled upon real estate and wholesaling, and that's what allowed me to create the future that I have now and also quit my job. Beautiful. And that's what I would like to do for other people is help them quit their jobs. Beautiful. Um, what is the one thing that was your breakthrough to achieve success? My breakthrough to achieve success in terms of mindset, I mean, in terms of mechanically, was real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, mindset was, um, you know, the, that's a good damn fucking question. Sorry. <laughs> and, and, and I, um, man, uh, getting out of my own way. Mm -hmm. I think that that was, you know, we all have our obstacles. Everybody always thinks about their goal in the future, what they want to accomplish. But a lot of times you have to, have to look at all the things you have to leave behind. Because that's also is equally important. So I think at every stage of my kind of evolution has always been like leaving baggage behind mm -hmm. and having the courage to do so. Because sometimes the baggage is the thing that we find comfort with and the thing that got us there. But now it's the thing we have to leave behind to go to where we're going to next. Yep. Cool. What's been your biggest win? First thing that comes to mind is, is uh, my family. Being, uh, I'm married to my high school sweetheart. Me too. Oh, interesting. So yeah. people always ask me how that, why that is. How long have you been married? Uh, it's been 12 years now. 12 years. So I've been married uh, a long time. I'm going to get it wrong. 22 years, been, been together for another five on top of that. And I would say that the secret to that is that the person you are when you got married young is different than you are today. Oh, yeah. Luckily, my wife and I changed in the same direction and probably the same thing with you. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I look at my wife, at the relationship we have and, and, and my daughters and how they're growing up and the people that they're becoming. And for me, that's one thing I'm very proud of because I feel that we lead, uh, we, we, we have a good, we, we, share, we show them a good example of where they want their life to go in that direction. And to me, that's one of the things that I'm most proud of. I love that. What's been your biggest failure? Uh, being my own self. <laughs> <laughs> being that, you know, my own failure is, I think, uh, letting go. You know, like, we all have our quirks and our personalities, and, it's, and, and we hold on to, like, things that we are our comfort, comfort zone. So I think, to me, is, is, is being afraid to let all of that go. Because, you know, when you let all that go, now you put yourself in a position to go to that next stage, but yet you hold back because of either fear of failure, your fear of what other people are going to think about you, and, and their opinions, and you have all that stuff that holds you back, and I still struggle with that, and so that's always a continuous struggle for me, and the thing that I think is probably a continuous struggle for a lot of people. Yeah, change and growth is uncomfortable. Yes. Um, if you had a time machine and could go back to when you were starting, what would you tell yourself? Um, don't treat your business bank account like your personal piggy bank, mm -hmm. because when you make a lot of money, the first thing you do when you don't have a lot of money, because I grew up in welfare yep. and food stamps, is you buy a lot of stuff, that you shouldn't buy. Talking about and my you, wife. <laughs> yeah, you spent all kinds of money. And I wish I would have kept more. I wish I would have had, you know, I learned how to make money. Right? You get a coach, real estate. I learned how to, how to go out and create revenue. But it never occurred to me back then to, hey, I need a coach to help me grow my business, to become a better business person, to uh, save and to invest. And so I wish I would have had that sooner because that I would be a lot further along now monetarily if, if I didn't spend all the money that I did spend. I had a great time, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think is the best way for people to get started in real estate in 2023? Listen, I got started through wholesaling. That's how I got started. I think it's the best way to get started. Some people say, well, hey, go out and get a rental property. If you've got no money and you got to buy a rental property and you're going to make a couple hundred bucks a month, you know, what are you going to do? In Miami, that only buys you a couple gallons of gas for your Lamborghini and maybe some <laughs> upgraded toilet paper, right? Yeah. You need like 15, 20 grand a month coming in. And so how can you get that? And I think that wholesaling is the best way to get that. And then once you get those nice big chunks of cash, don't spend it like I did on crazy stuff. But now you can use that to then acquire assets and to, to invest the money. But you need that strong cash flow to begin with.
Yes, sir. I believe the same thing. If you weren't doing anything in real estate, what would you be doing? Um, what would I be doing? Probably, uh, that's a damn good question. I have no idea. I don't know if that's the right answer, but I, <laughs> you know, uh, I was never in love with real estate. I only did real estate because out of everything I tried, that's the only thing that worked. So unlike some people that might be here and that might be like, oh my God, I love real estate investing. It's in my blood. No, it's just a way for me to make money. Um, I think genuinely, I think for me, I look at it as real estate was a vehicle to allow me to quit my job. So if I was to do something else, it would be something to allow others to do the same. Because I can't remember the last time I had, I had a job. I'm unemployable. And so for me, the freedom that comes with just getting up in your day, like you get up every single day, you do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Your day. But we lose sight of the fact that the majority of people don't have that. Right. And so for me, that is the thing that I want to do for others. I want to help them do that because I know what's a joy for me. And I want to be able to do the same thing for others. So it could be in another niche. But uh, for right now, it happened to be real estate. And that was my vehicle. And that's a vehicle that I recommend for everybody. Love it. Where can people find you? Uh, you can, luckily, Google knows where to find me. You can just Google my name, Chris Chico. You can uh, find me on YouTube. You, you can find me in all sorts of places. Google will lead you down the trail of where to find me and get more info, get, see more of my content. All right. Appreciate it, man. Perfect. All right, guys, Dean Rogers again. Thank you so much for watching. If you've come to the very end of this video, then I hope you got a ton of value. Um, for me, uh, this is what it's all about. When you can get around other people that are thinking at higher levels, that have gone through incredible life experiences, then you're going to benefit from that as well. And just uh, that, that's where the growth happens. So I hope you were inspired. I hope you search out some of these people and learn more about them. There's some incredible people that have gone through and have incredible stories. So make sure to uh, stay in touch. You can reach me at deanrogers.com to connect more. We'll see you next time. Peace.